plastic-based packaging uh, represents nearly 80% of all retail snacks packaging globally in 2020, and that compares to 16% for paper-based packaging, which is considered widely recyclable. So flexible plastic largely dominates the landscape. And although it's grown at a healthy 3% compound annual growth rate in the last five years, pouches um, are still the most dynamic pack type at 12% KGAR over the same period. Their reclosability is being perceived as valuable by consumers. Folding cartons, flexible paper are making progress in snacks, which is imperceptible at world level today, but it's quite promising for the coming years. There are three directions of travel for packaging innovation in snacks, all very much influenced by COVID-19. First of all, we've got value and home snacking formats. So we've got toughening economic conditions, a boom in plant shopping online. Uh, the share of e-commerce for snacks went from 3% in 2019 to 5% in 2020. Uh, impulse sales went down as well. So all of this is causing consumers to shift from single serve small formats to multi-packs and larger pack sizes for better value for money. But this is also very much to accommodate new snacking occasions as we spend so much more time at home, uh, for example, working from home. When possible, we value the social times within the household and sharing snacks. Think Netflix occasions, for example. During the stockpiling period in early 2020 alone, the 10 to 16 ounce snacks pack size bracket in the US, so that's 280 gram to 450 gram, grew the most with an 87% increase in dollar sales. In the UK, PepsiCo and Golden Wonder, to only name a few, so the share pack sizes grow faster than most other pack sizes. In the UK, Walker's Taste Icons Crisp were launched with flavors of popular restaurants in bigger sizes than standard, uh, from going from 32 gram to 50 gram for the grab bag version, and from 12 to 15 unit multi packs. Kellogg's new range of snacks for the home in the US, Rice Krispies Treats Home Style Bars, are over 50% bigger than the standard 22 gram Rice Krispies Treats Bars, and they allow to write a customized note on its wrapper. Note how this often cannot just be about affordability. It also needs to be seen as value added. Uh, we'll come back to this next. For brand owners, boosting margins and value sales when single surf packs have lost momentum across retail and food service impulse channels. It means premiumizing their offering. Now, the second avenue for packaging innovation is a visible push towards sustainable packaging. This was not really visible in snacks till now, but there's an increased use of uh, materials with a higher recyclability profile across snacks categories, but mainly among mature markets. And it's a way to premiumize a proposition and to stand out. Sustainability is not yet um, a priority in consumers' minds, but COVID-19 has, in a way, caused consumers to want even more purpose from their food brands. Paper-based materials that are deemed widely recycled are in places substituting flexible plastic. After KitKat was introduced in flexible paper in Japan in 2019, Mars Galaxy Chems premium tablets in an, uh, was introduced in an envelope style folding carton in the Middle East. There is still much to be done in the sustainability space, notably through clearer labeling and so-called better plastic alternatives. Um, the new flavors of the Magnum tubs launched in 2020 are an example of that. They're made of recycled plastic. Uh, we also have the compostable route, so the Irish brand of snack bars, all real nutrition, uh, released its product in a bio-based flexible pack that's claimed to be compostable. And a third avenue of packaging innovation in snacks is the delivery of a quality experience at home beyond the pure consumption of the product. And this is another way uh, that the boom in e-commerce is to influence the future snacks packaging landscape. 
Good protection against impact is critical for brittle products, particularly in savory snacks. Uh, for instance, a triangular folding carton tube uh, was chosen as a better option than a standard flexible bag for Dorito snacks. Perhaps more importantly, snacks remain an escape, something pleasurable. And now that consumers can't socialize outside easily, they can't give and receive gifts in person or go to a Kit Kat specialty store, snacks players need to look beyond the consumption experience and to provide more consumer product interaction through the unboxing experience, for example. Uh, in Austria, major sweet biscuit brand Mana offers customers its mini mix gift box for Easter this year. And it's a pop-up folding carton that opens into a board game using its chocolate figures as game pieces as well. It's again about offering a fun activity for the household whilst enjoying the chocolate.